Our gauge. You still can't play. Hey gamers, Foxfires here with the latest updates on Tryon's free-to-play launch of Arc Age. In my last video, I covered the nightmare issues plaguing the first two days of the Arc Age Founder Head Start, which began four days before the free-to-play launch. Game was unplayable due to game servers and Glyph authentication servers constantly crashing and being down. Many of the issues covered in that video still persist, but won't be readdressed here, so be sure to click the link to catch the full story. For days 3 and 4 of the Founder Head Start, Tryon did get the server stabilized, but they didn't do enough to handle the player load. Queue times were over 3 hours long. Since the servers couldn't even handle the Founder players, it warned of the disaster about to strike with a free-to-play launch for everyone else. Tryon needed to drastically increase player accommodation. Fast. Not smugness, not arrogance. But we're resolute, we're determined. And your help is not required. We'll just have to see how ready you are. Kill! Tryon failed miserably. Free-to-play launch queues were more than five hours long, and many players didn't even make it into the game at all. Worse, there was no priority queue system in place for founders, who'd paid for the game in advance and subscribed as patrons. They were paying for a game they couldn't even get through the queues to play. The community was outraged, and Tryon vowed to resolve the issues. Afterwards, Tryon implemented a priority queue for founders and patrons to curb the anger of the paying customers not being able to play. But there was a huge problem. An error somewhere on Tryon's end gave every player patron status. So the queue times were made the same for all players because everyone had patron status. It took Tryon another two days to fix this. Only it didn't get fixed correctly. When patron status was removed from players who shouldn't have had it in the first place, the status was also removed from many legitimate founders and patrons. So now, when many true paying customers made it through the six plus hour long queues, they found they'd lost their patron status and all its benefits. Tryon scrambled to restore patron status to their true paying customers. The issue was only fixed yesterday for many affected players, but the most monstrous issue of all still remained, queue times. Long queue times for MMO launches are normal, but the queue times are only getting longer. Players trying to log in after work are finding that their queue times are over 9 hours long, effectively preventing them from being able to play the game at all. Even patrons are stuck in the queues for 6-7 to seven hours. And the queue is still 5 hours long for patrons logging in at 10am on a random weekday. What's more, prominent guild leaders can't get in-game in order to run their guilds and coordinate events. In an effort to avoid the impossibly long queue times, players have resorted to any means possible to avoid it. For several days, this could be done by staying on the character selection screen. But Tryon has just implemented measures to kick these idle players. However, movement macros and bots are being implemented by other players to try to remain logged in. Other players can report this, but if a macro bot user goes into an obscure enough area, they may still be able to avoid AFK detection. Remaining logged in not only circumvents the impossibly long queue times, but also increases the amount of labor gained, which is a limiting factor for crafting, farming, and a primary way to make gold and XP in the game. On one hand, these AFKers are adding to the queue problem, but on the other, it's the only way many people with jobs can play at all. They will wear down your defenses. Then you will be there. This has also led to an increase in general bot usage, with websites selling hacks. Perhaps the most infamous is the teleport hack, which allows players to illegally teleport with trade packs. This lets them accrue massive amounts of gold and gilda stars from the turn ends, giving them a significant advantage over other players. One form of the teleport hack can be seen in the Korean video by clicking on the annotated link. Gamers have been pushing for server restarts for days as a way to boot the AFKers, and give active players a chance to get through the queues. With these ridiculous queues, why doesn't Tryon keep adding servers and increasing population capacity? It seems like a simple solution, but it's been argued that it's not so simple with games like Arc Age, because after the launch hype ends, Tryon may be left with dead servers that they can't easily merge due to player land and housing. However, nothing is going to drive away players faster than simply not being able to play. Gamers will only put up with queue times of 5-9 hours long for a limited period of time 
before they stop trying to play all together. Tryon claims they understand the problem because they are stuck in the same queues. This is difficult to believe when it seems they're giving themselves all the perks. Farming and housing in Arc Age are important aspects of the game. Housing provides a teleport location and allows players to restore labor at a faster rate. Farming is one of the primary ways to make gold. Good farmland and housing was gone before the free-to-play launch on Caprosa. Even most of the land in the contested zones was gone. Even as a founder, after combing the zones for hours, I only managed to get farmland in a non-contested area because of a tooltip error on the map. Turns out, it was a known issue in Alpha that the devs never got around to fixing. And this brings us back to Tryon XL Gaming employee perks. While scouring the land for hours, I came across this farmhouse in an area not marked on the map for housing. It's on Caprosa, on the south side of Mahadevi, near the Solus Headlands border. Conveniently, a perfect spot along the coast. By attempting to place my own farmhouse, I can see the exact picketed parameters in which housing and farmland is permitted here. The permitted areas are marked by the large wooden posts. Notice anything strange? Infuriating, even? Despite the wide open area in front of the house, the picketed area for being able to place anything is exactly the parameters of this guy's farmhouse in Large Scarecrow, with not one square more. This is either a very unlikely make-a-wish situation, or a Tryon XL Gaming employee giving himself the best perks in the game. Kuro is the house owner's name, and Shisel has user status on the property as well, as seen by this placed mushroom. Do you think he waited six to nine hours in the queue? The insane queue times are Arc Age's biggest problem right now. It threatens to drive players away en masse and hurt the game long term. But there are also several other emerging issues in the game. Leave a comment below about a topic you'd like to see covered in upcoming videos. Breaking news update. During post-production of this video, Tryon has just implemented measures to kick AFKers after five minutes. This significantly improved queue times in the EU this morning. Only time will tell how this impacts the queue times during peak hours and weekends. More great news for EU specifically? The new servers that were stuck in customs have been released, so we may expect to see them installed soon.